What's up guys, Iceman804 here, bringing you a Gears of War Judgment commentary on Haven, one of the new maps released in the March 29th DLC. It was supposed to come out on April 2nd, as you guys know, but uh, yeah, this gameplay was pretty fucking good. I got one of my good buddies here with me, like Butter. Say what's up, bro. How's it going, everybody? And uh, how you doing, Alec? I'm doing pretty good, man. Just ate some cold Chipotle that I found under my bed. Uh, <laughs> made me want to throw up, dude. Oh, just, just hearing you munch on old like chicken was going to make me uke it. Oh, I'm just kidding, guys. It was laying next to me. I just never finished it. But I brought Drew on my channel here today because we want to talk about a little something something. You know, um, <laughs> you guys had... <laughs> You guys, I can hear my dog sneezing in the background. Dude, I uh, hear him, dude. Yeah, dude. Nice dog. Uh, he got a little bit of pollen up his nostrils. You but um, in on it. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, you had complaints about the melee and the Nasher spread. And uh, basically, there is a new update that came out. Not many people know about because it wasn't like one of those updates that you had to download when you played. It was like a server-side update that gradually spread. So the update consisted of, you know how when you play Execution, you only have two smoke grenades. Well, now they basically made it so you have one smoke grenade, and they reduced the stun on the melee when you melee somebody. So if you guys have been noticing lately that when you get two-pieced, you have a little bit uh, better chance of getting a shot off before he gets his shot off, which is good. You know, it's still... You know, makes that melee vital. It still kind of gives those players that, like, oh, I'm going to melee this guy move. But it's kind of risky now, you know? What do you yeah. think about it? Do you think that it should have been like the Gears 3 melee where it pretty much was useless? Or do you think it should be like this? Um. Well, see, there's a difference here because without stopping power and stuff like that, basically they made stopping power in the game to try to enforce using the rifles and other weapons that are long range more because you you know how it was in Gears of War 1. Um, you know, there's a hammer burst that you could pick up. There was a la Everyone started with a lancer and a pistol, but let's be honest, like the lancer and the pistol only made a difference when you had a coordinated team. Like in Gears of War 1, when you were just running rank by yourself and a bunch of people weren't communicating and weren't Nashers talking to each other day. exactly it was just nashers it turned into gears of nashers which i didn't mind because you know we were old school gears of war one players and we were using sniper most of the time anyways uh so in this game without the stopping power like how gears of war one was um i kind of feel like it is hard to keep people from running up and mailing you uh so i am happy that they put a little bit of a nerf on it um, but at the same time, there is a set strategy that you can have in the back of your mind, kind of like how I dealt with uh, the sawed-off shotgun in, in uh, Gears of War 3, how basically I would slide into a wall and roll away from them. I think I called it like the shake and bake or something like that. There's like little ways you can do it. And so when I see some like a player, and you can clearly tell when you're in a gunfight whether they know what they're doing or they just want to go in for the melee. So what I'll usually do is try to get a few shots into them before they can get into melee melee range and just continually just basically like i know this is a nerdy word but i play league of legends it's called like kiting where you basically shoot them back up shoot them back up you probably had no idea what that word meant right? yeah no but i get what you're saying is you basically yeah. get them weak so you can get that one shot when they push with their head down exactly or but, even kill them before they can get into that range you know yeah i know what you're saying man but like sometimes you just can't help that when a guy rushes you with his head down or just camps on a wall waiting for that melee but you know, I mean, I don't, I don't really have a problem with it. It's just the fact that we're YouTubers. We like putting out content. We like going for like quad feeds with Nasher. In order to get those quad feeds, we have to be up close and personal, and we can't right. really like. Dude, my dog just like shit his pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh Dude, he's just over there like having the worst itch, man. But um. Wait, did he fart? <laughs> I don't know what he just let out, <laughs> dude. I think he sat on a frog. But um. <laughs> Just as us as we're YouTubers, we have to go in there and push for those quad feeds. In order to do that, we got to get up close and personal, and we don't really have time to like st keep our distance and play smart. So I noticed like a lot of the times, like I've been getting trip feeds in execution, and you know that's pretty good. You know it's execution, but I haven't been able to get the quad because it's just all either the fourth guy's not there or he melees me. You know it's like I gotta risk it to run in and get the clip. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I don't know. If the melee was like it was in Gears 3, I feel like you'd have a lot more chances to get clips with the Nasher. But, I mean, hey, it's a new game. I'm willing to adapt. 
Um, you know, it probably is a kind of a crutch for new players as well. You know, they feel like if their shot a game and their strafe isn't up to par, they can fall back on the melee. So, I mean, I'm, I can take it with a grain of salt. It's, it's not really a big deal to me. But, I mean, what do you think should be fixed in the game? I know they fixed the, you know, the two smoke grenades in execution and the melee stun time. But we were talking earlier about, you know, possibly having the stem gas grenade only affect your teammates and not yourself or just take them out of the traditional game types and leave it in overrun um okay this is my fix to the stim grenade um of you you know how the stim grenade works right like yeah yeah, yeah. it's Basically. by frame so whenever like it's literally like frames so when you get hurt hurt at all no matter if you're almost completely dead you instantly go back to full health it's not like a regeneration so what i think they should do is make it how it was in halo 3 in halo 3 there was a there was a pickup regenerator thing that you could throw down and you could stand in and it would make your your health regeneration a lot higher than the regular regen but you still weren't completely out of the water you know you would have your health regenerating but you could still die if you were taking a large amount of damage in a short period of time in this game you can literally be getting shot by the vulcan cannon and you can live you just won't die in a stim grenade so yeah. i think the fix for the stim grenade would to be make the generation a lot like even very very like like uh i don't know like very fast but not right to back to 100%. That's just my problem with that. Or, because, or, or, or you, uh, you could have the regeneration just be right when it explodes. Have it like within that radius. Kind of like a smoke grenade. Right when it explodes within that certain radius, it stuns you. If you're not within that radius, you know, you're fine. So okay. if you have a stem gas grenade thrown next to you, right when it explodes, it heals you and then it just dissipates. Okay, I see what you're saying. I, I see... Now the thing with that is like being able to grab grenades and uh, inks and this other stuff. I don't feel like that grenade would have as big of an impact, and I honestly don't think people would use it if it could only heal you right on impact. Uh, but like the the reason it's so overpowered is because people are abusing it instead of using it at, as like a last resort to save themselves. They're using it by throwing it into your their enemies and then running in and knowing that yeah. if you're not going to get that one shot that you're going to win the fight you know exactly um, so it is getting abused pretty bad right now but honestly like I, I i don't completely mind it that much because you can you know you still can go up there and point blank them with shotgun and kill them right i've yeah, done you it can two piece times. them and stun them and get that that one shot um that's an easy uh you know fix to the stem gas grenades just run into the stem and two piece and get the one shot mm -hmm. because uh, you know you don't want a chance missing your one shot and uh you know getting bodied i've seen i don't know if you've seen this but i've been mid shoddy fight and i've had this guy beat and it was on uh, Gondola. I don't know if I pronounced that properly, but it was at the Torquebo spot on the rooftop. And I had this guy beat. Like, he was full red. And he just looks down at the ground, runs to the side, throws a stem gas grenade on the floor at the very bottom, jumps off the building, and then right, you know, like you said, it's frame by frame. So right when he took that damage, the next frame, he was full health again. Yep. So people are using it as a way to get, you know, cheat their way around the map as well. I don't know. But, um... Like you said, um, with the stem gas grenade, I, I mean, yeah, it it is being abused, but I don't know. What I just don't know what they you think they're gonna do with it. Like I'm kind of rambling right here, but um, I I think what the there's a few things that they could change. Like I said, the regeneration. What that would do is uh, it would make it so if they're almost dead, like right about dead, and they throw that grenade down, if they don't instantly go back up to 100% and the it, the regeneration's high, you'll still be able to hit them with one more shotgun shot and kill them. Oh, um, I get what you're saying. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Their so, health slow, like, you know, goes up, so you can still than drain normal. it. Yeah. Yes, faster than normal, but not instantly back up to 100. Another thing they could do was uh, they could lower the, the time 
down to like three seconds because I believe right now it's four seconds from when you throw it. Uh, if they lower it down to three, because the biggest problem with stim grenades right now is not so much like in TDM or execution or anything like that. Or, well, you can't use an execution, but in TDM, it the problem is in domination when people are throwing it into the into the hill and then basically you just have to sit there if you don't have anything that can kill them in one hit you basically sit there and just watch them take the hill and can't do anything about it exactly you, know? you need either you know explosives or a headshot but uh we're you know we got about 45 seconds left in this commentary i want to say one more thing um the definition of the stem gas grenades when you're literally checking you know your info on the gears of war main menu or your stats and you know character setup etc it mm-hmm. says that it is a grenade used to heal your allies you know right. and, and people don't use it to heal their teammates they use it to heal themselves so i mean that i think that'd be the easiest fix just make it only be able to heal your team and you know a lot of people probably wouldn't be able to use it that much because the majority of gamers are selfish. You know, they worry about themselves. Yeah. So, um, you know, thanks for coming on, dude. This is pretty nice little commentary. I want to hear y'all's feedback in the, uh, the comment section about what you guys think that we should do with the stem gas grenades. And uh, we we never got to talk about the Nasher spread. That's another. We'll do thing. it. We'll do it. Not. We'll do another video where we talk about some other stuff. That'll be cool. Yeah, we'll probably do it on his channel since we did a dual com on mine. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming on, man. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this gameplay i raped shit with the breed shot um and yeah take it easy later guys